Joseph was the youngest son of Jacob. Of his 12 sons, Jacob loved Joseph the most. Jacob would spend a lot of time with Joseph, playing with him and taking him around wherever he went. His brothers were envious of the attention that Joseph got. One day, his father got Joseph a coat that had all the colors of the rainbow. This made his brothers even more jealous. Here, Joseph, put this coat on. It looks great on you. Oh, thank you, Father. It really is beautiful. I love you, Father. Joseph would often see dreams. They were strange dreams and he did not understand what to make of them. One day, he was working in the fields with his brothers. A certain dream meant. Hey, Simeon, I wanted to ask you something. Hey, listen, brothers. Our darling fancy code brother seems to be troubled by something. Ask quickly, unlike you. Well, it's about the stream I had. In the dream, we were all gathering crops. We set down our bundle of crops on the ground, side by side. And then I set my bundle on the ground. And all your bundles bowed to my bundle. What does that mean, Simeon? Oh, I see. You dreamt that we all bowed down to you, right? Keep dreaming, you idiot! In another dream, Joseph dreamt that the sun, the moon, and eleven stars were bowing down to him. This time, he asked his father about the meaning and even his father got angry, telling him to not think too much of himself. Joseph was sad that nobody understood him. One day, Jacob sent Joseph to the fields to check on his brothers. Look, brothers, our darling brother is coming back to check on us. Oh, he is such a pest. Why do we have to bear him like this? We should just kill him. Careful, Levi, he's our brother. We can't just kill him. Let me think of something else, though. Reuben was the eldest brother, and he loved Joseph very much. He was afraid that his brothers would actually kill Joseph if they got the chance. He was trying to think of some way to keep him safe. I know. Let's put him in the well and leave him there. That's a great idea, Reuben. Let's do it. Reuben thought he could pull Joseph out of the well later when his brothers weren't looking. But he had to gather his sheep first. So he left the well and went towards the sheep up the hill. The rest of the brothers were gathered around the well, laughing and having lunch. Suddenly, they spotted two Egyptian merchants on the road. I have an idea. Why don't we sell the little brat to these Egyptians? They probably need slaves. This way, he could at least have some use for us. Ha <laughs> ha! When Reuben returned, he found to his horror that his little brother Joseph was not in the well. When his brothers told him what they had done, he was shocked and angry. But he was also afraid of his brothers and so did not speak. The brothers then took Joseph's coat and sprinkled the blood of a goat on it. They took it to Jacob and told him that a wild animal had eaten Joseph. It broke Jacob's heart and he cried out in sorrow. Thank you.